それでも言いたいこの僕に何ができるって言うんだ窮屈な」Hello and welcome to Mecha Anime Reviews. Today, we're gonna take a look at Robotic Notes. First, some background. Robotic Notes was originally a visual novel, and in fact was a sequel to another visual novel named Steingate. When the anime adaptation of Steingate proved successful, Production IG decided to adapt this game as well. The good news is that you don't really need to see Steingate and its other sequel slash spin off Chaos Head to understand the plot of the show, even though there are a few references. And characters returning from previous installments. Anyway, what's the story? There once was an anime named Gun Barrel. It was extremely popular and well renowned. But at the eve of its final episode, the production staff were violently murdered, and the finale never came to air. Years later, a young girl named Akiho Senomiya and her friend Kai Yashio are members of the school's robotics club, originally started by Akiho's sister, Misaki. The club's purpose is to complete a working copy of Gun Barrel. However, keeping the club afloat is not easy, since Kaito and Akio are the only members and Akio makes extraordinary budget demands to the school, causing the vice principal to consider canceling the club. However, when they win a tournament, they receive enough money to continue the program, the club getting new members, and they all work to build their Gun Barrel and achieve Misaki's dream. However, things are not as it seems. Since Misaki had left years ago after calling Akiho mediocre, and Kai received some mysterious documents that may predict the end of the world as we know it. The animation is top notch, it flows extremely well, always looking crisp and vibrant. The music is okay, not really standing out too much, but overall decent, sometimes even fitting the mood of the scenes well. The English dub is done by Funimation. Needless to say, They do a solid job as always, with each of the actors playing their parts well. In particular, I liked Lindsay Seahill as Akiho, who manages to embody the character while also avoiding being annoying or grating. First, the good stuff. The characters are extremely likable. Sure, they aren't the most well rounded characters, and at times feeling a bit cliche, but they are genuinely interesting, and you start to get into them the further the series goes along. I think that the emotional drama between the characters is the best aspect of the series. The entire relationship between Akiho and Misaki, in particular, pretty much drives the whole show, with Akiho trying to fulfill her sister's dream and step away from her shadow, but Misaki staying away from her, even insulting Akiho. A lot of this stuff is genuinely compelling and relatable, and you want to see these characters succeed in their goals. However, there are a few problems with the show. The entire Kijima subplot, I think it's the weakest aspect. Sure, the mystery was set up well, but it ultimately distracts from the emotional conflicts of the characters and even undermines one character's entire motivation. It also has the effect of rendering the plot more conventional as well, undermining its own premise. Some subplots, like the stuff with Subaru's dad and what happened to Frau's mom, get abandoned with little in the way of resolution. Though that could have been because it was dealt with in the visual novel. And it's probably just me. But I didn't really like Kyle that much. I felt that he was a rather bland main character, sometimes even irritating at points, and that the story would have been a whole lot more interesting if it focused more on Akio. Oh well, Robotic Notes is an okay show. It's a little bit like Fafner in the Azure, also dubbed by Funimation, in that the overall plot was meh, but the character development and drama was amazing. Oh well, see you next time on the next Mega Anime Reviews.